Ladies, Sarah Ann Vincent, McKinney Fuller. And my grandparents came here in 1906, my father's parents. My mother's parents came here in 1921. My great-grandparents came here in about 1923, and he was one of the first doctors and had his office in the townhouse uh, building in downtown Farrell's. So we've had 64 of us graduate from San Juan High School, so we're a big family of Fair Oaks old timers. <laughs> what is your earliest memory of Fair Oaks growing up here? I'm one of those people that can remember back till I was nine months old. So my first memory is in my mother's arms, and she was taking me across the street to my grandfather's house on Sunset Avenue near where you live. And my uncle Earl Vincent was working on a tractor, and um, he come up out of kind of a little embankment that was there, and he took his hand like this and pretended he had put black grease all over my brand new red sweater. And I cried and cried and cried. And as little as I can remember my body being, I probably wasn't a year old. Mm, Isn't that interesting? Mm, mm. What were the people like then? You came from such a large family. What were the people that lived here like then that you recall as a child? We had a lot of in-home social activities, cakes and big meals and um, games, parlor games. Uh, my dad called everybody old man. And it could be that most of the people that come in 1895 came with money, were older, retired people even. And so everybody was old man so-and-so as you went up and down the roads. And I've only realized as I'm older that that was because those people were probably getting elderly in the 30s and 40s. The Buffums and the, the Bramhalls and the Monsies and the Rodigers, oh, the Masseys, all of those people were getting old. And so he'd say, old man. <laughs> no. That's mostly what I remember. Uh, there wasn't a lot of time for visiting because people worked hard. How did your parents do? They were farmers. We farmed 35 acres. They trucked our crops to the farmer's free market in Sacramento for uh, nearly 70 years. Mm -hmm. Earned our entire living from that. Mm -hmm. My dad worked a short time at the Pacific Coast aggregates. And um, other than that, we never had to work outside the home for a living. Mm -hmm. We had all our own meat and milk and eggs and pork and chicken and turkeys and vegetables and fruit and nuts and our own woodlot of three or four acres. So mm -hmm. there was very little at you bought other than flour and sugar maybe that you needed. Someone has told me that the Pacific Coast aggregates had some big piles over there that were almost like... They uh, looked the, like the pyramids, pyramids. Mm -hmm. and I remember probably two. One would have been sand and one would have been fine gravel. And my dad would go down in his flatbed truck and get a, a load of sand or a load of gravel for the driveway or a load of sand for a grandchild to have a sandbox. Isn't that nice? Yeah. What do you remember about going to school when you started school here? What kind of memories did that hold? Oh, I wrote a story that took three or four months to publish it all. I remember a lot about school. <laughs> <laughs> and we had fun in school, and we were good friends. Uh, a class of children starting in the first grade and going through graduation from high school. And uh, this morning in the neighbor section of the B, I saw a picture of one of the boys that graduated with me, and I said to my husband, he had said to me that night, you certainly have a beautiful dress. And I've remembered that for 35 years. <laughs> Isn't that nice? He said some things in life count. <laughs> but nice kids. We played ball and, and we played marbles and we did things together. Never play at home particularly, but school days were getting together times because we lived so far apart on farms. You didn't go next door to play with somebody. And then we jumped and yelled and screamed on the school bus things like that. Well, you said there wasn't much of a social life, but what there was, of it was there any kind of community center or any kind of events that would go on in the community or maybe the church or other social uh, life? The um, Catholic Church had their group of people that were maybe visited in homes. They had a priest for many years that was one that would visit everybody and was very dear. 
and in the Presbyterian Church in Harold's, which used to be called the Federated Church, had quite an organized social life. Mm -hmm. uh, as my parents tell about being youngsters, they went there and had ice cream socials and, and dated and went to homes for uh, get-togethers of kids. Um, I think your main social center was the old-time Presbyterian Church in Barrows. And many of those people you see here today, and I think some of them made our nice refreshments. Okay. So. Mm -hmm.